This team has found a way to repair the effects of pesticides on honeybees. So right now we are seeing a big decline in the honeybee population. In fact, it's declined almost 50% in recent years. And one of the main reasons that we are seeing this decline is due to a phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder. This is caused by a variety of factors, including pesticide and miticide use. My research shows that it will improve the honeybee's learning and memory skills so that beekeepers can use these miticides without suffering the negative effects of learning and memory. That's seventh grader Rory Hu from San Jose, California. She researched how tea polyphenols, active compounds found in tea, as well as caffeine, could help repair a honeybee's learning and memory after being exposed to pesticides and investigated the link between pesticides and the reduction in bee populations. Honeybees are a crucial part of our ecosystem. They are the world's most important pollinators, which flowering plants rely on to reproduce, and they also make honey. And who doesn't love honey? However, when honeybees are exposed to certain pesticides, their learning and memory skills can be damaged, affecting their ability to find food and return to their hive. My project looked at the effects of pesticides, T polyphenols, and caffeine on the olfactory and visual learning and memory of the honeybee. And so basically, my project was testing to see how these T polyphenols and caffeine could repair the olfactory and visual learning and memory of the honeybee after the application of these dangerous pesticides. Rory conducted her study using bees she collected from a local beekeeper, which were not harmed in her research. I mainly used the proboscis extension reflex, or per method and um, this is a form of Pavlovian conditioning and basically which I present a sucrose which the bee naturally responds to with the peppermint scent which the bee does not naturally respond to and the goal is that over time if I present these the peppermint scent and the sucrose multiple times then the bee will learn to associate the sucrose and the peppermint scent which means that it will respond to the peppermint scent alone when previously it would not have and this is known as Pavlovian conditioning and I use this method to test the learning of the bees to see how quickly they could pair the sucrose with the peppermint scent and then later on to test memory in which I would wait 24 hours and see if the bee would still respond to the peppermint scent or if they would forget. The results? Rory's research found that honeybees learned and remembered the smell of peppermint after being fed tea polyphenols and caffeine. So my main findings were that tea polyphenols and caffeine were able to repair the learning and memory of the honeybee and make it even better than the control even after the application of pesticides. I also found that the tea polyphenols and caffeine improved olfactory learning and memory more than visual learning and memory, but overall visual learning and memory outperformed the olfactory learning and memory in terms of control. Rory says that if beekeepers were to use the methods from her research, millions of bees could be saved. And after conducting her study, Rory released the bees into the wild so they could go back to their natural environment. For her project, Rory was named among the top 30 in the Broadcom Masters, a science and engineering competition for middle school students run by the Society for Science. She also won the Department of Defense STEM Talent Award for her study. She says she hopes to continue her research and explore more STEM areas.